All right, everyone, let's talk about the French Yellow Vest movement because uh, we haven't discussed it in a while, have we? Uh, and there's been some recent developments that I would like to cover. Uh, but I also want to point out just how vicious the Yellow Vest protesters are. I mean, even the guys in wheelchair are posing significant danger for the cops. Monsieur, oh! Oh no, no! Ah, oh, Monsieur, oh! So you saw, you saw the policeman. He noticed the danger. It's like the yellow vest protester in the wheelchair is sneaking up on him, and he took action. Psst. And I love like he took action and managed to get the guy to stop exactly in the parking space, like right between the lines. Oh, such professionalism! Uh, for those of you who never had the pleasure of being sprayed with that shit. Um, I had a friend of mine who got it in the face. Now, I'm not going to go into details as to why, but I did help him go to his hotel room and try to clean him up. The next day, my hands were literally burning. I, let, let me explain to you the sensation. Maybe you don't know what that uh, spray is, right? It's called pepper spray, so it's in the name. It's pepper. Uh, it's red hot chili peppers, but imagine like the hottest pepper you have ever ate and multiply that by a thousand times. Uh, you know, when you when you touch uh, a piece of paper and then you go to have a piss and your pee pee is stinging like hell or you rub your eyes and then your eyes are hurting. Okay, imagine that a thousand times worse put in gas form and sprayed onto your face. That That is what that shit is. So it's, it's very unpleasant. And, uh, you know, I, I saw a lot of police brutality coming from this. And it's not uh, the brutality that when the police are beating the protesters. Because I understand that. That's their job. That's why they're there. Protesters charge at the police line. The police line use the batons, you know. Um, you can argue about it. But what I don't understand is like when the police finally has someone. Like they, they removed it from the crowd. The guy is down, right? He's not any danger. And you have like four or five cops beating the shit out of him. Like that, that is something that I don't understand anymore. Um, <clears throat> I mean, no, I, actually I do understand it. No, my bad. It's understandable, but not excusable. Uh, like this has been going on for weeks. So I guess, you know, all the officers probably got a couple of knocks themselves. They probably have uh, co-workers that have been hospitalized. But hey, it's part with the job, you know, like you, you're not supposed to do that. If you can't stop yourself from doing that, then find another job. Don't be a police officer. What the fuck? Like, I'm not going to be here and, and take the moral virtue and say that I don't understand. No, I completely understand the uh, human aspect of wanting to seek vengeance and whatnot, but you have to resist it. Be professional for fuck's sake. Um, not to mention, like, other protesters are going to see that, right? Like, those recordings are all over the internet. And then they're going to beat your colleagues even harder because they're going to get angry seeing what you just did to their protester. It's it's not productive at all. It's just the the worst thing you can do as a cop. If any Brit uh, if any French policeman is watching this, just, just just know like be professional, right? Like if you see someone on the ground and they're not fighting anymore, don't start kicking them. Uh, or or like in this case, like just use uh, pepper spray against uh, a guy in a wheelchair. The, what are you thinking? Uh, meanwhile, the French elites are, are boarding the uh, the banks and the restaurants they frequent. And I had this uh, entire gift to show you, but uh, unfortunately, the account that was posting this information got banned from the Twitter. Um, probably for other things, not for this. Uh, but uh, it looks like something coming out from the purge. Uh, like they're, they're walling up the the restaurants and they're walling up the banks while people are laughing at it like they can't believe it that this is happening um it's uh, very interesting all of a sudden walls work all of a sudden uh walling up something to protect it from the outside is okay so are they saying that all yellow vests are violent are they saying that hashtag all protesters do violence why are they walling up some protesters are peaceful. Some protesters just want to go to the bank. Uh, in fact, that was actually one of the uh, plans for the movement. You see, they wanted to do a bank run. Now, apparently a bank run is when people go to the bank legally, right? They normally like customers and they ask for their money back. Uh, and if enough people do it, this can collapse the banks and it can actually collapse the economy. This is something that was done in the past in France. 
and I believe they actually took measures uh, of prevention uh, since that day. Like uh, if you go to a bank right now in France, there is a limit to how much you can withdraw. You, you, if you, even if you have like, uh, let's say, forty thousand uh, euros in the bank, they don't allow you to withdraw it all in one day. Like there, there is a limit. Uh, and, and it's quite inconvenient because uh, imagine if you want to buy a house or something like that. Um, the, the, it, it's interesting because the European Union actually talked about a plan to make this in all European countries to, to have like a, this, this limit on how much money you can withdraw. And it's quite problematic. Like there are people who want to go to an auction to, to buy some art or to buy an old car or something. And this is a major inconvenience. Now, uh, the reason I decided to make this video is to talk about the fact that now the French are deploying the military against the Yellow Vests. Initially, they deployed it uh, against the government buildings, but apparently they're now deployed in order to also support uh, the police force. Not good optics, I will say this. Uh, the military is the tool you have to kill your enemies. Uh, if you deploy it against the people, you are basically making the statement that the people are the enemy. Not good optics. Uh, not to mention, like, there are even people that uh, are pro-European, that are uh, pro-Macron. And even them are saying, it's like, look, if it's going to happen that a single protester gets shot, uh, you know, that, that, that we're not going to support you anymore. Like... Uh, this would be abhorrent for a European country to open fire on its own citizens. Like they, they just don't understand uh, the the level of escalation they just gotten themselves into. Uh, they they should have been more smart, like the Americans. See, this is why I like the Americans. They're very efficient in their brutality when it comes to these sort of things. Like they don't bring the military to to beat up civilians. No, they militarize the police force. Uh, and, and it's different when uh, it's on the paper that uh, the police was deployed in Ferguson versus the military was deployed in Ferguson. You know, like it's a, <laughs> it's a major difference. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, uh, the, the reason the military is a bad idea is because, first of all, these people aren't trained on how to suppress crowds of people peacefully. Like that's not part of their training. Uh, and secondly... They don't even have the equipment required to do this. Like, they are trained to kill their soldiers. That's that's what they do. They defend their country uh, from invading forces or they invade other people, but they don't uh, get deployed in order to be pacification troops or whatnot. So, yeah, this is a major clusterfuck. Um, and anyone who says it isn't is, is absolutely wrong. Like, the mainstream media was constantly reporting that the protesters have died down, that... Uh, uh, you know, the the things that were the worst have now gone away. No, no. Like If that was the case, why are they deploying the military? Why are they boarding up the banks? Why are they, uh, you know, taking all of these measures? Um, <clears throat> there was even like a case, uh, I, I think the mainstream media now isn't reporting at all because um, I, I was given this video by a French gentleman. Was... Uh, this, this lady, she was uh, part of the mainstream media and her newspaper just said that the yellow vests have died out or something. And she was live on, on French television when she finds out that her newspaper building is now burning. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, like the, the protesters decided to go for the media because of the reportings. And uh, they, they, in that case, you know, they did public damage. And in other cases, they also boycotted, uh, like made, made a human chain around the... Um, the television, I believe, television station and didn't allow people to enter or leave. You know, like, I, I mean, when you get this this big amount of, big, big number of people on the streets protesting, when you have, like, such a, crude, a huge crowd, yeah, you are you are going to have, like, people who are um, being violent and people who do property damage and all that. Like, this is something I don't agree with, by the way, when, when they start burning cars. I said this before. It's like... Why are you burning someone's car? Imagine this, like, the, the guy might be even a, a supporter of your cause and you're burning his car. Like, why? You know, or trashing businesses. Like, well, I, I don't get that. You know, like, the, the, I, I understand I'm protesting against the government, but you're basically going against the people at this point. The most astonishing thing about the Yellow Vest, by the way, is uh, the fact that Macron managed to unite uh, the far left and the far right, like for the first time ever 
You know, like he's definitely not a Donald Trump. He's never definitely not. Uh, he will not divide this kind of guy. Uh, no, he, he united them, all of them. Uh, there have been skirmishes between the far left and the far right. <clears throat> uh, obviously, when these groups meet, it's it's never a good thing. But I also seen like videos with people with the hammer and sickle next to the people with the the the, the skull logo. You know, the the skull bandana that uh, certain far right groups wear. And they were marching side by side, and I was watching that, and I'm like, huh, yeah, okay, that that happened. Uh, but there are peaceful people as well, right? There, there's also peaceful protesters and a lot of people ask like, okay, so what, what do they want? Because a lot of their demands got uh, handed to them. Uh, I think they want snap elections. That's what they want. They want Macron to either step down or for new elections in the French government and that doesn't seem to happen. So um, it's, it's interesting to see how long they, they've been at it. And now that the government is escalating things and the police have grudges against the protesters and the po protesters have grudges against the police. Um, no one knows what will happen. Uh, we'll see. I'll uh, keep you guys up to date and informed. Um, as I mentioned, it's it's kind of difficult for me to get information because uh, the, the French media doesn't write in English. Uh, and uh, th there's not that much in the media about this, to be honest. It's um, the things you have to go on Twitter and, and get uh, news from the people that are on the street with smartphones and stuff like that um <clears throat> but uh yeah i mean you know uh I'll, I'll do my best to keep you informed uh thank you for watching and uh i appreciate if you guys uh donate usually either super chat there's a stream labs down below usually these types of videos about uh you know the these types of events get uh, demonetized so you know every little bit of funding that i get from you guys helps and uh, i'll see you later on the next video